Hey everyone, in this video we are going to take a tour of this new add-on called Google Assignments. So Google, uh, recently this August, they released this new add-on for learning management systems called Google Assignments. It is designed for people who really liked the workflow of Google Classroom, but because they use a learning management system, it was sort of overkill to have both. So they created this add-on that learning management systems like Schoology can put in their app center. This part is where it gets a little confusing because if you'll remember from last spring, Schoology already had uh, an app called Google Drive, uh, Google Drive Assignments. So we have Google Assignments, which is by Google, and then Google Drive Assignments, which is by Schoology very similarly named. Um, this new one looks a lot more like Google Classroom. You should not have to install this, um, but if for some reason you do, this is where you would go to click on it. You'll know the difference because the old one looks like this triangular Google symbol, the new one looks like the clipboard. It should already be installed for you, so we're just going to go here to this class. And if you go to Add Materials, it should show up over here for you. And we'll click on Google Assignments. The first time it'll ask you to link your Google account, and then thereafter it will always double check to make sure you're in the right uh, Google account. Then it will just fully take you out to the Google Assignments website, and this is what looks a lot like Google Classroom. You're going to pick your total due dates. You are going to, um, you can choose this due date, but this, this is kind of a bummer. This due date, if you select it here, it won't show up in the Schoology calendar. You'll have to do it uh, on the Schoology side, which I'll show you in just a second. Here's where you would... Um, your assignment and your instructions. You can use the Google rubric feature. You can use their built-in plagiarism checker. You can attach uh, the template that you want the student to use if you have the template you want them to use. Uh, I'll go ahead and use this social justice standards from Catrice. We'll click create. And you can attach multiple files, just like you would have in Google Classroom. Okay. As always, it goes down to the bottom, which is why I know you guys would never have such a disorganized class as this one. Highly recommend a folder system. And, but for our purposes, we're just going to do this. So I have two sections of this class. This assignment has been just automatically given to both of them. I'm going to click this gear drop down symbol though and click edit because this last step is how I get it. Make sure it shows up in my grade book and make sure that it uh, shows up in the calendar. All right. So I'm going to choose my grading category and my due date. If I unselect all, I can just pick, if I just want everybody to have the same due date, I can just use all sections. If I wanted each bell to have a different uh, due date, I could do select all and then pick different ones for each of my sections. Okay, I'm going to click save. And then let's go see what it looks like from a student perspective. So your student goes to their class, they see the assignment. This may take it a minute to load, um, depending on your internet speed and a couple other things, but just be patient. Okay. Um, the student can open the assignment. And if you've given them a template, you've given them their instructions, so they just have to go here and do whatever it is you ask them to do. Okay, 
So when I'm all done, I can just go back here to turn in here and say submit. And now I still have that option to unsubmit if I need to redo something or to make a change. Uh, okay, so now back over on the teacher side, let's take a look at what it looks like when your students have turned stuff in. Okay, so there's my student. So I can go to Grading View, I can go to Comment Bank, and create comments that I want to leave for all our uh, regularly used comments. I'm going to go to um, Grade, I'm going to give them a grade, and some feedback, and I'll just hit, if I had additional students who had turned it in, I could just toggle through them quickly. I'm going to go ahead and return their work to them. Okay. So I returned the work to the student. Now when I go to gradebook, I have turned in here and the grade that I just gave them is already populated. So I don't have to do anything extra other than make sure it's syncing to progress book. And that was that checkbox that says sync to SIS. All right, so let's go back to the student view. And see what they see. So I have a grade on this assignment. I'm going to click on it. I got my feedback and I got my grade. If I had left that student individual comments on slides, I could or um, the bank, I could go ahead and open the assignment and view it from there. All right, so that's Google Assignments essentially. Um, hope you give it a whirl. Pretty excited about this new add-on for Schoology. As always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your building digital learning coach today.